Hey everybody, this is Mike McCormick. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. And uh, today uh, I have Mark Moore on uh, the line here with me. And uh, Mark, uh, tell everybody uh, about yourself. My name is Mark Moore. I am the senior producer and writer for The CW in Orlando, Florida. I've been working in uh, film and television for about uh, 26 years. I've worked on 13 major films including A Time to Kill, Ghost of Mississippi, The Chamber of the Client, Big Fish, The Insider, uh, just to name a few, and, uh, and also in, in television. And um, so that's pretty much me. Uh, won an Emmy during the pandemic, and I'm still a little salty because I didn't get a chance to dress up and uh, do the red carpet thing. So I'm striving for another so I can do that. Uh, I, I kid, but uh, yeah, it would be cool. Uh, Mark is also yes. a director, and uh, why don't you tell folks about uh, the movie we worked on? Well, we did a short film together called For Sale, which is um, something that I wanted to do for quite a long time. It was based on uh, a radio play um, called The Hitchhiker, and um, there was a, a record that I had when I was a kid about had ghost stories on it, it was uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Pick, Mr. Pickwick's like ghost stories, <laughs> and one of those, one of those uh, stories was the Hitchhiker, and um, it just kind of stuck with me for a long time. And um, I used to play that record when I was a kid over and over again. And um, but again, like things that stick with you when you're when you're young. And yeah. um, so I thought I thought it'd be a great way to do a um, something to do like a, a short one day. And um, mm -hmm. oddly enough, uh, when the show Supernatural premiered on on the on the, at the time the WB right before the WB uh, was uh, sold to, or they merged with CBS to become the CW, um, mm -hmm. we had a little show called Supernatural, and uh, which became the longest running show on the network, and uh, their pilot episode was The Hitchhiker. It was you know, and I was like somebody knows this story and uh and so i really got really charged about it and i'm like you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna let this die down because i don't want to i don't want to do it um now because it's it's fresh and i so think it's really gonna be held on to it for a little while and it's now yeah uh, you're, you you got it coming out now in uh film festivals is that right yeah just uh you know just going around doing different film festivals and uh, last October, we had our first film festival with it um, for Phantasm Film Festival, and we won the Convention Choice Award for that, and um, which was awesome. And um, so this month, at the end of October, it is going to be at the Spooky Empire International Film Festival, judged by um, some actors, some Great. horror film actors. And so that'll be uh, interesting. Uh, to see what they think about it and uh, hopefully they they'll get it and uh, enjoy it but I wanted to it took me a while to get it because I wanted to make sure that I had the right gear and um, I just didn't want it to look cheesy or broken down I wanted thing to fall into place and and um, I didn't have a lot of money well it looks great um, that's what you know it. Um, and I loved when when uh, we talked about doing the score for it. You referenced John Carpenter, and you wanted something yes. Carpenter-esque, and uh, hopefully I delivered that. But one thing I love is, you know, sometimes when you're going to do a short film, you, you never know what you're going to end up with or, you know, the what's behind it. And I remember the first time I watched For Sale, you had all those cool drone shots and very high production value. And, uh, of course, we have to give special uh, thanks to Michael Roddy for uh, introducing us to each other. Uh, hopefully Absolutely. he'll be on here talking James Bond with me at some point. Um, but, uh, and Jaws. But yeah. And Jaws. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we gotta do Jaws. Uh, but uh, uh, as far as for sale, I, I just thought it was great. So I hope everybody, anybody listening, you know, might check that out if they get a chance. So, yeah, uh, when, I sent, when I sent Michael the film, um, I said I wanted a score similar to John Carpenter's The Fog because I love the music from The Fog and, and it, obviously that's a ghost story and that's one of my favorites and um, you know normally you, you know you go and you send something off and you you always have notes 
and you know I'm like Michael I'm sure he gets lots of notes when he's composing and um, I sent it off and I I knew Michael's work and I I have full faith that it was going to be great came back I had nothing I was like this is perfect this is a lock <laughs> I'm so happy um, not changing a thing and so the score that is in the short film um, is exactly as Michael composed it without any alterations or changes whatsoever. And uh, well, I'll try to, uh, maybe I'll post it on the channel if anyone want, might want to check it out, or I might even lay it, some of it underneath this video while we're talking. Um, yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, it's always great to, to work with somebody and, and you just lock in. And it's truly a scary, the, the ending of that thing is really scary makes you jump yeah it's very creepy i wanted to disarm so many people with it so they get so into what's going on that i just wanted that one scare and it wasn't even something that you know a lot of people try to go for multiple scares and stuff like that but in a short if you can just get one i thought that was the most important thing so when i was when we were shooting it um i thought well if i can just pull this one off and and everybody that's seen it gets that scare which is great and that's exactly what i wanted so um as a director i i feel like i succeeded in that uh, it's got like one of those john carpenter halloween type stingers uh, mm -hmm. uh or, or or maybe even like jaws ben gardner's head popping out um it's, it's very effective but uh that's all you so again, that's, that's all you I, well you know you gave me a good it made me jump when i just watched the the raw footage but uh, yes, we're not here to talk about For Sale, although you need to check it out. We're here to talk about Halloween, which is a, a movie that obviously inspired For Sale, both in how it sounds and how it looks. 